Hey everybody, uh, this is James Mitchell. I wanted to come to you with an update on my lightsaber from Saber Forge, the adaptive saber part saber. Uh, the update is this, from the last time I talked to Saber Forge, I didn't get any responses. No uh, emails back, I sent two emails I believe, and no response. Uh, I messaged uh, the owner on Facebook personally, no response. And so, uh, I I'm not trying to throw their name through the mud. All right, you can read the comments in my last two videos, and it's pretty, pretty bad. Um, but what I am trying to do is just kind of give you all an update on what I've done and what I'm doing. So, since they didn't send me anything, many of you were very, very helpful in the comment sections on the previous two videos, and you kind of gave me some right direction. And so, here's an update. Purchase a uh, lithium ion battery uh, charger for the battery uh, right here so that you can charge it individually. But then I got to thinking and I'm like, man, if I'm going to have to wire up uh, uh, some stuff anyway, why not just make a recharge port inside of it? Now, here's a forewarning. If you have an adaptive saber part saber or, or any saber from Saber Forge or any other company that I know of, if you do what I'm about to do to the saber, to the saber, to your own saber, uh, it can void the warranty. So there needs to be that precaution right there. Don't don't do this if you have a warranty and it's a working saber. Don't do this. All right, but I also have purchased a uh, lithium ion uh, smart charger uh, so that I can uh, wire this up for a recharge port. And uh, when I wire it up for a recharge port. I can just plug this in and it'll cut off whenever it gets to the top point, which I can also use it for other things because it's got a plug in here, you know, and you've got some alligator clips. You have another one here, and I'm actually uh, going to wire in my own because I bought a set of these. I bought about 10 of these, and these are sets, and so they can connect together. You can use it for many things, but I'm actually going to use this end for the charger. These are the charging ports that I bought. Uh, this one is not going to work, this one will work, and I'll explain later how that works. I also purchased the clips that Saber Forge actually uses, the connectors, so that I can actually wire similar to how they already had it set up. I bought two lighted AV switches. I was going to buy just a regular AV switch, uh, anti-vandal switch, uh, but I bought a blue one and I bought an orange one. And so I'm going to have to wire up the light part of this into that as well so that it will light up. Resistor uh, that will work with, um, trying to get this to focus in on this resistor. I guess it's not going to focus, but either way, I do have a resistor here that will hook up into the LED on the AV switch so that the LED doesn't blow. I also have some heat shrink tubing, which you uh, may need. I've got this. I've got some smaller heat shrink. Uh, I've got all kinds of different sizes, but so if you're going to do anything, I would suggest you get some of this uh, as well as, you know, you pretty much need a solder gun and some solder. For the kill switch, I may update this later, but I did make one, okay, and so this, uh, I believe this will work, and I'll test it out for sure here in a little bit. It's just a uh, temporary kill switch until I can buy or purchase a better one. Uh, but how I made this was actually, I went to the hardware store, and I bought a bunch of, of these plastic nylon, uh, uh, what do you call them, they go into the wall, studs that go into the wall so that you can screw into these these nylon studs and they expand and hold it in. But these uh, were, were 10 cents a piece or something like that, so I bought a bunch of them and then I figured out uh, which one would fit by sawing off the edges, you know, and the top of it and plugging it in. Okay, so basically right here. I have a little diagram that I have drawn uh, to kind of show how this is going to work because I'm going to have to remove certain connections on the board. Um, if you have a Saber Forge board and they've pre-done this, they do have some uh, electrical putty that is covering this and you can basically very carefully, if, if had be, you can uh, just kind of pull it off and chip it off. Just make sure it doesn't pull any wires or, or anything off the board or anything like that. Okay, so basically here's your recharge port slash kill switch. I have a multimeter here, and I have it set so that you place them together, you get a beep. And so that beep lets you know that there is a connection being made. All right, so uh, this post on this, uh, as you can see, there are three posts. And uh, those three posts, one of them will be a positive, and the other two posts will actually be a negative. 
I'm trying to get this camera to zoom. All right, one of these posts will be a positive and one of these, or both of these other posts will be a negative. Now you wanna have them connected right though, because your goal is that when you, the goal of this right here is, what I'm trying to do, is when I plug in the recharging port, it connects two of the posts that will uh, send juice to the battery and recharge the battery. But when I do that, it will disconnect the other post uh, that will be connected to the board. Now, how I tested that was simple. I took and I found out for sure that my two posts that were negatives were in fact negative. So I plug them together and I get a beep. That lets me know, hey, you know, these two negative posts are negative. Now I just, to be confirmed that this port was good, I checked against the positive on both posts, no beep. All right, then what I did was I said, okay, so these negatives are gonna make a straight line right now. So there's gonna be a negative. And so if there's a positive there, and the positive is just a connecting point between the battery and uh, uh, the battery and the board. So that positive is actually a straight line through. And so when these negatives go off like this, that means the unit is on. So what I wanted to do then was check, okay, let me see when I plug something in, which I realized that this is uh, a recharging plug, 2.1 millimeter plug, and that that's not what you use for kill switch, but I plug it in anyway. And so that tells me that it should disconnect the two negatives uh, whenever it does that. So I do the test again, negative, beep. So I get this negative that will go uh, this negative here will actually go to the board, so I check it now uh, because I don't want the board negative going. All right, you don't want there to be power or negative connected uh, here when you have this power plug in because you want this one over here to be connected, the other one. So that one will go to the battery and that one will go to the, the positive will go to the battery. That way it will actually recharge the battery but not go through the board. Since we've got these alligator clips making the connection, your, your board negative still should not make, it should be cut off from your positive, no beep, no connection. But then your battery negative actually should, since these alligator clips are connected this way, should make a straight connection to the positive, or should be a beep here. And there's these two are connected for charge, and this one's disconnected. I'll start with LED light, since this is something that I will be putting a, a switch on. It'll be fairly the easiest uh, piece to do. This will be fairly the easiest piece to do. Now, if you haven't figured it out already, on these AV switches, if you get a lighted one, uh, there are two longer prongs. Uh, mine came straightened out. I had just bent them for the purpose of a packaging. Uh, but there'll be two longer prongs, and then there'll be two prongs on the side. Uh, these two that are on the side will actually be your switch for the momentary switch, and then the two long ones will be for your LED. As well about this uh, lighted AV switch, uh, if you get one like mine, uh, you may or may not be able to see. One of these legs is longer than the other on the LED part. The longer leg is gonna be your positive. And so basically I now have this wired up uh, the way that it should go. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to install it in this unit. I may have to go backwards though and uh, do something else later. Okay, now on to the uh, kill switch and recharge port. As you can see, okay, as you can see, I've got all these wired up. I'm using the same color wire, so it's gonna make it just a little bit confusing. Uh, this is the positive, however, and then uh, this is the main negative, and then this is the board negative. And so if you have different color wires, that would be best. This is just the only color I could find at the time. So actually, what I'm going to do here is I've made some marks here with some red and left one blue and one on black, the one that goes to the battery black. But what I'm going to do instead is I've got shrink tubing, and I do have different colored shrink tubing. And so I'm actually just going to place the shrink tubing of the color with the one that I want it to go to. Now that that is done, it is time to go to the Sabercore board. And we have to actually remove 
some of these solder joints in order to solder uh, new uh, wires to it. Okay, for anybody that was watching, uh, I went to test it, didn't work, and here's why, because I totally messed up. Uh, the wiring was actually completely wrong, so this is not the best wiring diagram. Uh, that's what you do when you're tired, I guess. So, uh, it should work now, though, so we're going to test it anyway. Uh, should be able to put the battery in and it not power the board. The board's not powered. Um, <clears throat> now, though, we should be able to actually plug everything up and test it. What I had to do different was, is the LED on the thing, I actually had to hook it into uh, the power part for the board, so when the board powers on, the LED should power on. So I'm thinking this should work. We'll see though, let's try it and plug it up and try it. Okay, it's plugged up. Everything is at least, you know, it's obviously not in the chassis. I just wanna do this before I put it in the chassis this time. So it's plugged up. We should be able to remove this kill, or this kill plug and it ought to power the board, say Sabre Core, and this LED ought to come on. Well, the board power's on, but the switch doesn't come on, so. Well. Halfway there, anyway. But at least the kill plug works. I don't know why the LED's not working. Anyway, at least now I can use it. Maybe I'll plug this thing in and show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so here's the test with this. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, obviously the, the AB light switch isn't working, but let's see uh, what she looks like. And hey guys, uh, you know, thank you for guys for watching. It's a little bit sensitive. I probably need to uh, work on that in the settings. But if you guys can figure out what I did wrong the second time on this AV switch, why the LED is not lighting up, leave me a comment down below. I'm, I'm not an expert at this guy, you guys. I don't know everything about it. I don't, um, I, I, I just, I'm not good at it. This is the first lot saber I've ever had, and I'm, I'm new to it. So, but, uh, Leave me a comment down below if you can figure out what I did wrong. Maybe I can be able to get it fixed. And uh, you guys did a lot of good suggestions in the other videos. Thanks for all the comments, all the likes, and, and getting those videos watched. Uh, I, I appreciate that and I like that. And uh, But if you could just, you know, uh, leave me some more suggestions down below of what I might be able to do with this. But the suggestions you gave about other lightsaber companies, I'm looking at a couple of them. Uh, I've got engaged actually yesterday, and uh, we're looking to do some lightsaber stuff for the wedding. And so uh, I'm really interested in that. So I'm probably going to get another saber. And if I do get another saber from one of them companies, I'll definitely give you guys an unboxing and a review. And I'll probably do a review of this one when I actually finally get it finished. Uh, but again, warning, don't do what I did to this. If you've got an ASB or a Saber Forge, it will void your warranty. And I don't want you to have any problems like that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, comment. Give me some, talk to me. I, I enjoy your comments, guys. Thank you and see you soon.